for Luspo. Hearing I ask from the holy races. From Heimdall's sons, both high and low. Thou wilt, foul father, that well I relate. All tales I remember of men long ago. I remember yet the giants of yore. Who gave me bread in the days gone by. Nine worlds I knew, the nine in the tree. With mighty roots beneath the mould. Of old was the age when Ymir lived. Sea nor cool waves nor sand there were. Earth had not been, nor heaven above. But a yawning gap, and grass nowhere. Then Burr's sons lifted the level land. Mythgarth the mighty there they made. The sun from the south warmed the stones of earth. And green was the ground with growing leeks. The sun, the sister of the moon, from the south. Her right hand cast over heaven's rim. No knowledge she had where her home should be. The moon knew not what might was his. The stars knew not where their stations were. Then sought the gods their assembly seats. The holy ones, and council held. Names then gave they to noon and twilight. Morning they named, and the waning moon. Night and evening, the years to number. At Ithaval met the mighty gods. Shrines and temples they timbered high. Forges they set, and they smithed ore. Tongs they wrought, and tools they fashioned. In their dwellings at peace they played at tables. Of gold no lack did the gods then know. Till thither came up giant maids three. Huge of might, out of Jotunheim. Then sought the gods their assembly seats. The holy ones, and council held. To find who should raise the race of dwarfs. Out of Bromir's blood and the legs of blame. There was Motzog near the mightiest maid. Of all the dwarfs, and Urin next. Many a likeness of men they made. The dwarfs in the earth, as Durin said. Nye and Nithi, Northri and Sutri. Ostri and Vestri, Alfjof, Thalin. Na and Nain, Nipping, Dain. Bifa, Bofa, Bomba, Nori. And an owner, I, Mjothvitnir. Vigen Gandalf, Vindalf, Thrain. Thek and Thorin, Thor, Vit and Lit. Nyr and Nyrath, now have I told. Regin and Rathsvith, the list are right. Philly, Keely, Fundin, Nali. Heptifili, Hanna, Sphire. Fra, Hombori, Freig and Loni. Orvang, Yori, Ikinsk, Joldi. The race of the dwarfs in Dvalin's throng. Down to Lofar the list must I tell. The rocks they left, and through wet lands. They sought a home in the fields of sand. There were Draupnir and Dolgthrasir. Hor, Hawksbori, Hlevang, Gloin, Dori, Ori, Duff, and Vari. Skurfa, Verfa, Scarfith, I. Alf and Ingvi, Ikinsk Joldi. Fjela and Frosty, Fith and Jinnar. So for all time shall the tale be known. The list of all the forebears of Lofar. Then from the throng did three come forth. From the home of the gods, the mighty and gracious. Two without fate on the land they found. Ask an embler, empty of might. Soul they had not, since they had not. Heat nor motion, nor goodly hue. Soul gave Othing, sense gave Honir. He gave Lothar and goodly hue. An ash I know, he dracel its name. With water white is the great tree wet. Thence come the dews that fall in the dales. Green by earth as well does it ever grow. Thence come the maidens mighty in wisdom. Three from the dwelling down, neath the tree. Earth is one named, Verthandi the next. On the wood they scored, and sculled the third. Laws they made there, and life allotted. To the sons of men, and set their fates. 
the war I remember, the first in the world. When the gods with spears had smitten Golvag, and in the hall of Hall had burned her, three times burned, and three times born. Often again, yet ever she lives. Hythe they named her who sought their home. The wide-seeing witch, in magic wise. Minds she bewitched that were moved by her magic. To evil women a joy she was. On the host his spear did offing hurl. Then in the world did war first come. The wall that girdled the gods was broken. And the field by the warlike wains was trodden. Then sought the gods their assembly seats. The holy ones, and council held. Whether the gods should tribute give. Or to all alike should worship belong. Then sought the gods their assembly seats. The holy ones, and council held. To find who with venom the air had filled. Or had given Othar's bride to the giant's brood. In swelling rage then rose up Thor. Seldom he sits when he such things hears. And the oaths were broken, the words and bonds. The mighty pledges between them made. I know of the horn of Heimdall, hidden. Under the high-reaching holy tree. On it there pours from Valfather's pledge. A mighty stream, would you know yet more? Alone I sat when the old one sought me. The terror of gods, and gazed in mine eyes. What hast thou to ask? Why comest thou hither? Othing, I know where thine eye is hidden. I know where Othing's eye is hidden. Deep in the wide famed well of Mimi. Mead from the pledge of Othing each mom. Does Mimi drink, would you know yet more? Necklaces had I, and rings from here, father. Wise was my speech and my magic wisdom. Widely I saw over all the worlds. On all sides saw I Valkyries assemble. Ready to ride to the ranks of the gods. Skull bore the shield, and Skogel rode next. Guth, Hild, Gondal, and Geiskogel. Of Hergen's maidens the list have ye heard. Valkyries ready to ride o'er the earth. I saw for Balder, the bleeding god. The son of Othing, his destiny set, famous and fair in the lofty fields. Full grown in strength the mistletoe stood. From the branch which seemed so slender and fair. Came a harmful shaft that Hoth should hurl. But the brother of Balder was born ere long. And one night old fought Othing's son. His hands he washed not, his hair he combed not. Till he bore to the bale blaze Balder's foe. But in Fenselir did Frigg weep sore. For Valhall's need, would you know yet more? One did I see in the wet woods bound. A lover of ill, and to Loki like, by his side does Sigin sit, nor is glad. To see her mate, would you know yet more? From the east there pours through poison veils. With swords and daggers the river slith. Northward a hall in Nithavella. Of gold there rose for Sindri's race. And in Okolnir another stood. Where the giant Bremir his beer hall had. A hall I saw, far from the sun. On Nastrand it stands, and the doors face north. Venom drops through the smoke vent down. For around the walls do serpents wind. I saw their wading through rivers wild. Treacherous men and murderers too. And workers of ill with the wives of men. Their nithhogs sucked the blood of the slain. And the wolf tore men, would you know yet more? The giantess old in ironwood sat. In the east, and bore the brood of Fenrir. Among these one in monster's guise. Was soon to steal the sun from the sky. There feeds he full on the flesh of the dead. And the home of the gods he reddens with gore. Dark grows the sun, and in summer soon. 
Come mighty storms, would you know yet more? On a hill there sat, and smote on his harp. Egder the joyous, the giant's warder. Above him the cock in the bird would crowed. Fair and red did jailer stand. Then to the gods crowed Golinkambi. He wakes the heroes in Othing's hall. And beneath the earth does another crow. The rust red bird at the bars of hell. Now Garm howls loud before Nipahelia. The fetters will burst, and the wolf run free. Much do I know, and more can see. Of the fate of the gods, the mighty in fight. Brothers shall fight and fell each other. And sisters' sons shall kinship stain, hard is it on earth, with mighty whoredom. Axe time, sword time, shields are sundered. Wind time, wolf time, ere the world falls. Nor ever shall men each other spare. Fast move the sons of M.I.M., and fate. Is heard in the note of the Galahar horn. Loud blows Heimdall, the horn is aloft. In fear quake all who on hell roads are. Yggdrasil shakes, and shiver on high. The ancient limbs, and the giant is loose. To the head of M.I.M. does Othin give heed. But the kinsmen of Surt shall slay him soon. How fair the gods! How fair the elves! All Jotunheim groans, the gods are at council. Loud roar the dwarfs by the doors of stone. The masters of the rocks, would you know yet more? Now Garm howls loud before Nipahelia. The fetters will burst, and the wolf run free. Much do I know, and more can see. Of the fate of the gods, the mighty in fight. From the east comes HRYM with shield held high. In giant wrath does the serpent writhe. O'er the waves he twists, and the tawny eagle. Nor's corpse is screaming, Nagalfar is loose. O'er the sea from the north there sails a ship. With the people of hell, at the helm stands Loki. After the wolf do wild men follow. And with them the brother of Byliest goes. Surt fares from the south with the scourge of branches. The son of the battle god shone from his sword. The crags are sundered, the giant women sink. The dead throng hellway, and heaven is cloven. Now comes to Lin yet another hurt. When Othing fares to fight with the wolf. And Belly's fair slayer seeks out Surt. For there must fall the joy of Frigg. Then comes Sigfather's mighty son, Vitha, to fight with the foaming wolf. In the giant's son does he thrust his sword. Full to the heart, his father is avenged. Hither there comes the son of Lothin. The bright snake gapes to heaven above. Against the serpent goes Othing's son. In anger smites the warder of earth. Forth from their homes must all men flee. Nine paces fares the son of Fjordjin. And, slain by the serpent, fearless he sinks. The sun turns black, earth sinks in the sea. The hot stars down from heaven are whirled. Fierce grows the steam and the life-feeding flame. Till fire leaps high about heaven itself. Now Garm howls loud before Nipahelia. The fetters will burst, and the wolf run free. Much do I know, and more can see. Of the fate of the gods, the mighty in fight. Now do I see the earth anew. Rise all green from the waves again. The cataracts fall, and the eagle flies. And fish he catches beneath the cliffs. The gods in Ithavol meet together. Of the terrible girdler of earth they talk, and the mighty past they call to mind. And the ancient runes of the ruler of gods. In wondrous beauty once again. Shall the golden table stand mid the grass. Which the gods had owned in the days of old. Then fields unsowed bear ripened fruit. All ills grow better, and Balder comes back. 
Balder and Hoth dwell in Ropt's battle hall. And the mighty gods, would you know yet more? Then Honir wins the prophetic wand. And the sons of the brothers of Tveji abide. In Vindheim now, would you know yet more? More fair than the sun, a hall I see. Roofed with gold, on Gimli it stands. There shall the righteous rulers dwell. And happiness ever there shall they have. There comes on high all power to hold. A mighty lord, all lands he rules. From below the dragon dark comes forth. Nithhawk flying from Nithifjol. The bodies of men on his wings he bears. The serpent bright, but now must I sink.